Tiny reviewer. A timer that you can use on Rubik's cubes, on building a tower, solving math problems for your homework, or doing anything that requires like competition things, like competing with friends and see who's the fastest at something or who's the slowest at something. And that is a useful thing, like especially like this one. And time for the tutorial. So to turn this thingy on, you need to press the on button here, that's red. And then you'll see numbers. Oh, let me just, there you go. And now it's all set at zero by pressing the redo button. Okay, so I'm gonna be solving a Rubik's Cube. Um, I know how to solve it. Um, my father's gonna mix it for me because it's already solved. So give me about, about a minute or two to let my father mix the Rubik's Cube and we'll get on with the tutorial. So to start the timer, you're gonna put both of your hands, well, I have to do like this, but for some of, since I'm gonna do like this, it's supposed to be like this facing you. But since I'm gonna need to be facing you guys, the hand marks will show where your hands are going. So one, two, you see those green and red lights blinking like that? Uh, let me show you really quick. Um, you, you see on the dots here, these lights turning on. I can't do it with both, um, holding it up. So if you see it closely, red, green, and then let go, and then the timer will start. And then whenever you're finished with it, just tap your hands and then it'll stop and, and it'll show you the time. Now let's redo it. I have to face it this way down. So we're gonna zoom through this really quick and I will see you after I solve this Rubik's Cube. Um, so since I finished with it, it took me 2 minutes and 8 seconds to solve this Rubik's Cube. So that's how you use it. So if you see, if you didn't hear me, I solved it for 2 minutes and 8 seconds. These are just the milliseconds showing how many milliseconds it took if you include that as well. Now time to go to the batteries. So move away Rubik's Cube, thank you. Okay, so the battery is at the back of the timer. You only need to unscrew one screw of this tab. So I'm gonna get my screwdriver that I'm using to open it up. So I'm gonna put it on that screw and turn it counterclockwise if you don't know which direction you're gonna be turning. That will be enough. The screw just came off and keep that safe. Take that out. This, I know it might be an unusual color for a battery. It's an orange and green battery. You'll need two A, I believe it's AAA battery, if I'm correct. All you have to do is just pry, it off, pry the battery off and you'll see what battery you need if you don't need it, if you don't know it. All right, so that's the batteries and I put that back in so I don't have to keep this thing open. Now that the screw is fully tightened, we'll flip it over. Now it's time for the reasons why I like the timer. So reasons why I like this timer is it's easy to, you know, control it and there you go, the timer's going again. Easy to stop too. And I didn't mention these buttons, but these buttons will show you to save that so you can replay that time again if you don't know what time it is when you first looked. And it's easy to get the tube AA batteries. Oy. Like this one, it's good for competitions, like, see who's fastest or something? Like Rubik's Cube, like I just solved this one. And that's it. And I hope you'll use this for other competitions that I did not think of right now. And share in the comments below and see if I can use that um, little example on this one as well. Bye, and don't forget to click the subscribe button.